it to be famous, just being real, yeah, just being honest. My haters don't always be nameless, give them the power, I give them the power. Creators are different than ages, sooner than later, or will be ours. I keep an eye out for the numbers, I stay in contact, synchronization, no infinity. Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, another day, another vlog. So listen, I feel like it's been a minute, okay? It's been a minute since we spoke and you guys are my besties, so I miss you guys so much. You have no idea. When I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a while, I feel, I feel empty. So I want to update you guys a little bit on my life because you know, your girl's been a little MIA. I actually just got back from LA. Oh my gosh, she's an influencer going to LA. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Reason I was in LA was because I was visiting my sister and my brother-in-law because they just had a baby, which is actually the first baby in my family. I was always the baby, the youngest, the spoiled one, and now I pass the torch to my niece. Aww. Oh, is that her? <laughs> Um, so I met my niece for the first time this past week, which was so amazing. And I'm so sorry I didn't vlog, but to be honest, you guys would have been bored of that vlog anyway because I literally didn't do anything except for stare at the baby and hang out with my family. But yeah, we are back in New York City. I missed it here. I missed my apartment. But yeah, not gonna lie, I have to do some chores, some cleaning here. It's not looking too cute. So that's how we're gonna start off the vlog. Get my shit done, you know? Let's go. So this is my suitcase from LA. I got in yesterday. I didn't even bother to unpack. I was freaking exhausted. But also, let me know if you guys unpack as soon as you get back from vacation because for me, I'm like, no. I need like one or two business days to get my life together before I open anything up. So please don't mind the fact that things are still not unpacked and looking very messy, okay? bundled up it is freezing in New York now it is officially winter <laughs> no I hate cold weather but yeah right now I'm actually on my way to go pick up my little kitten Pika while I was in LA she was staying with my boyfriend and so I have not seen her in like a week that's my baby and so I miss her so much and I cannot wait to see her I hope she remembers me because like I freaking feed her and clean her poop she better remember me <laughs> So guys, I'm here. I'm about to walk in. I hope she remembers me. All right, here we go. Yeah! Hi! Oh my goodness! Hi! Oh my gosh, I missed you. Guys, literally every single time I see her, she gets bigger. Do you remember me? Hi, mama! Pika, come here! Oh my goodness, you got so big! Pika, don't show your booty hole to the camera. That's rude. Hi! Did you miss the camera being shoved in your face? I don't think so. So right now my boyfriend is currently at work um, and I'm hungry, <laughs> okay? I'm gonna go grocery shopping and pick up some items to cook something for us. I know who is she cooking, also cooking for her boyfriend. We don't know her, but it is freezing outside. So I put on this jacket. I call this my pimp jacket. <laughs> Doesn't that look like a pimp jacket? Also, it literally feels like you're just wearing a blanket outside. Let's go. I'm back from the grocery store. Can you tell I'm sweating? I found this recipe for this creamy buffalo chicken pasta. I'll have it linked down below. I'm gonna make that with some salad, you know, for the health.
Dice que el despecho aquí la trajo. Independiente, ahora él me va pendiente. Esa herida se curó solita. No te rumba y no te necesita. Y ahora ella no se va. This is super bright. Let me fix this light because you guys do not need to see me in 4K. I'm here on a Friday night chilling with my girl Pika. Hey girl. <laughs> yeah, actually right now I'm about to do my makeup. Got it all over here looking like a mess. And I figured I'd do my makeup and chit chat with you guys a little bit because I feel like it's been a while. And I miss talking to you guys, you know? Go check the comments. I read and respond to most of them. So also before we begin, if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? You know, what are you doing? <laughs> Go subscribe right now. So I'm about to get ready for a dinner date with my boyfriend. I'm freaking starving right now, so we're getting dinner. And then after that, we're watching the new Black Panther movie. This headband on before I start my makeup. The real ones, no. Usually I wear my animal headband. It has like cute animal ears, but I lost them and they're nowhere to be found. So we're gonna use this plain old boring white headband. <laughs> It'll do for now. Hmm, what shall we talk about? Uh, the fact that I'm sitting here showing you guys me doing my makeup and actually feeling confident about it is very new, okay? Two years ago, Lena would never believe this. Because those of you who are real ones that have been watching me for a while, you guys know you would never catch me sitting here on YouTube talking to a camera doing my makeup. Definitely in the last two years, I got a lot more, more feminine, I guess. Feminine in the way that I like things like makeup now, I wear dresses now. I did not own a single dress in my closet. Actually, I had two dresses. I had my prom dress from high school. I had another dress from my sister's wedding and that was it I never wore dresses didn't really go out much in college either was kind of you know to myself but yeah it's funny because i was thinking about this the other day how much i've changed in general because one of you guys commented like lena oh my god your makeup looks so bomb drop the routine girl like i remember when you used to never wear makeup oh my gosh this is why i'm not a makeup guru because i talk too much and then i forget what i'm doing <laughs> i am not a great multitasker i'm not gonna lie you guys can see my old videos and how much more different i was i mean at the core i'm the same i would say but like i feel feel comfortable doing things like this, like makeup. A little backstory. Growing up, I was always a tomboy. I think it's because I was really close with my brother and we would just like play all the time. And you know, he was into sports, I was into sports. I played basketball almost my whole life. And so naturally, you know, I was a little bit more tomboyish, which was fine, you know, which was great. I had a great time. <laughs> Let me put some photos as proof, okay? Because you guys might think I'm lying, I'm not. You know how on TikTok people are like in my feminine era? I feel like that's me right now, you know, because I was not like this before. And I was trying to think like what changed it or like why was I a tomboy before? And it was definitely cause you know, I grew up with a brother, but more the reason I was not into more traditionally feminine stuff is because I was really insecure. I would always lie to myself and tell myself that I didn't like things like makeup and I didn't like dressing up. Nail cringe. But I was like, oh, I'm too cool for that. No, I was lying to myself. I was just too insecure. And I honestly didn't think I was pretty enough to wear things like dresses or put on makeup. And yeah, and I feel like my personality isn't super like, and like, you know. <laughs> I don't know, I just didn't think my personality would allow me to be feminine and I felt like if I was, people would just make fun of me. And, and if I'm being really honest with myself, I would say growing up, I was typically the only Asian in every single friend group I had, every basketball team I was on. So I was very used to kind of being picked on and just like, like sticking out like a sore thumb. And so I feel like a defense mechanism for me was to be a tomboy because I thought that if I was, you know, more masculine, people wouldn't pick on me. <laughs> and for some reason, I associated being feminine with being weaker, 
which by the way is not correct. In college, I really changed. Like I went from wearing sweatpants, sweatshirts every single day to starting to wear dresses and starting to glam up a little bit. I remember while being in college when I met my high school friend, I remember when we met up for the first time in like a year, I came with a purse <laughs> and she was like, are you wearing a purse? And I was like, yeah. But yeah, I'm way more into feminine things now and I feel more comfortable like exploring it. And I would say a lot of it had to do with myself as I grew confidence. And a lot of it has to do with you guys. Like, you guys are so sweet. In the comments, you're always like, oh, Lena, you look so pretty. Or like, oh, that looks so nice on you. Like, you guys hype me up. Even when I look crusty, musty, waking up in the morning, shoving a camera in my face, right up drool on my face, eye boogers in my eyes. You guys honestly helped my journey so much. I would also say my boyfriend helped me a lot. He would be like, wow, you look so pretty. Like, you did your makeup so nice, you know? So guys, positive affirmations goes a really long way. And if no one told you how beautiful you are, I'm gonna be the one to tell you. You are beautiful or handsome. I love you guys like you guys honestly are my whole life you don't understand like I wake up every day and I think about you guys I pray for you guys every day you guys genuinely just make me so happy and, and you guys make me feel like we're besties and like in person I have such a small circle of friends but but it honestly feels like I have tons of friends because of you guys oh my gosh I put hella blush on oops er Woo. <laughs> You can hear me, but this is the biggest noodle bowl I've ever seen. Wait, this is my hand. Okay. Wait, do you see how big it is? Hello, vlog. So right now I'm actually. Hello? Right now I'm actually about to go to the grocery store to pick up some items to make a salad. I'm actually going to take Pika. I have this little carrier situation. Good girl. Gotta give her some treats for being a good girl. All right, Pika and I are ready. Let's go. about to make this salad. Listen, I'm somebody that does not like salad, okay? I do not enjoy it. It has to be made in a certain way for me to actually enjoy salad. Otherwise, it feels like I'm freaking eating grass. <laughs> but trust me guys when I say that this salad is freaking bomb. It's actually my good friend Emma's recipe, so shout out to you, Emma. I'm gonna show you guys, it's super simple. Taking a ride to join us late 